I will raise up for myself a faithful priest who will act in accord with my heart and my mind, says the Lord. Let us pray. O God, who are glorified by the Bishop St. Martin, both by his life and death, make new, we pray, the wonders of your grace in our hearts, that neither death nor life may separate us from your love. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Romans. My greetings to Priscilla and Aquila, my fellow workers in Christ Jesus, who risked death to save my life. I am not the only one to owe them a debt of gratitude. All the churches among the pagans do as well. My greetings also to the church that meets at their house. Greetings to my friend Epinatus, the first of Asia's gifts to Christ. Greetings to Mary, who worked so hard for you. To those outstanding apostles, Andronicus and Genius, my compatriots and fellow prisoners who became Christians before me. To Ampliatus, my friend in the Lord. To Urban, my fellow worker in Christ. To my friend Stichius, greet each other with a holy kiss. All the churches of Christ send greetings. I, Tertius, who wrote out this letter, greet you in the Lord. Greetings from Gaius, who is entertaining me, from the whole church that meets in his house. Erastus, the city treasurer, sends his greetings. So does our brother Quartus. Glory to him, who is able to give you the strength to live according to the good news I preach and in which I proclaim Jesus Christ, the revelation of a mystery kept secret for endless ages, but now so clear that it must be broadcast to pagans everywhere to bring them to the obedience of faith. This is only what scripture has predicted, and it is all part of the way the eternal God wants things to be. He alone is wisdom, Give glory, give glory, therefore, to him, through Jesus Christ, forever and ever. Amen. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. I will praise your name forever, Lord. I will praise your name forever, Lord. I will bless you day after day and praise your name forever. The Lord is great, highly to be praised. His greatness cannot be measured. I will praise your name forever, Lord. Age to age shall proclaim your works, shall declare your mighty deeds shall speak of your splendour and glory, tell the tale of your wonderful works. I will praise your name forever, Lord. All your creatures shall thank you, O Lord, and your friends shall repeat their blessing. They shall speak of the glory of your reign, and declare your might, O God. I will praise your name forever, Lord. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. 
Jesus Christ was rich, that he became poor, to make you rich out of his poverty. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, I tell you this, use money, tainted as it is, to win you friends, and thus make sure that when it fails you, they will welcome you into the tents of eternity. The man who can be trusted in little things can be trusted in great. The man who is dishonest in little things will be dishonest in great. If then you cannot be trusted with money, that tainted thing, who will trust you with genuine riches? And if you cannot be trusted with what is not yours, who will give you what is your very own? No servant can be the slave of two masters. He will either hate the first and love the second, or treat the first with respect and the second with scorn. You cannot be the slave of both God and of money. The Pharisees, who loved money, heard all this and laughed at him. He said to them, You are the very ones who pass yourselves off as virtuous in people's sight, but God knows your hearts. For what is thought highly of by men is loathsome in the sight of God. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. To God the Father Almighty, dear brothers and sisters, may every prayer of our heart be directed, for his will it is that all humanity should be saved and come to the knowledge of the truth. For the Holy Church of God, that the Lord may graciously watch over her and care for her. Be pleased to hear us. Lord, we ask you, hear our prayer. For the peoples all the, of all the world, that the Lord may graciously preserve harmony among them. Be pleased to hear us. Lord, we ask you, hear our prayer. For all who are oppressed by any kind of need, that the Lord may graciously grant them relief. Be pleased to hear us, Lord, we ask you hear our prayer. For ourselves and our own community, that the Lord may graciously receive us as a sacrifice acceptable to himself. Be pleased to hear us, Lord, we ask you hear our prayer. O God, our refuge and our strength, hear the prayers of your church. For you yourself are the source of all devotion, and grant, we pray, that what we ask in faith we may truly obtain through Christ our Lord. Amen. May the Almighty and merciful God bless and protect us, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen.